Good morning and happy last day of school to all of you. Seniors, I don't need to tell you that your life is about to change in, in big ways. While for some of us here at Shoreland, you'll always, always remain Pacers, many of you, your name is going to change. And you're going to become Badgers and Warriors and Knights and Red Hawks and Rangers. Well, maybe, maybe that's uh, not the, the big major change uh, that you were thinking I might say. However, it does in part describe uh, your new image as you leave Shoreland and move on to your next place. Probably the bigger shift in your image will involve the specific training that you do in preparation for your career. As you immerse yourself into the specific courses that you'll be taking, each day, more and more, you'll see yourself as electricians and, and as welders and as engineers and as medical professionals. Each day, you'll take a, another step into that career, and your image will change to fit that role. And that's typical when you get into a training program. Take the Apostle Peter, for example. When Jesus called him to be a disciple, he was a fisherman. And when Jesus called him, he left his boat and all of his fishing tackle at the beach, and he went and he followed Jesus. Peter had a vision for ministry, serving with his friend Jesus, and he saw everything, uh, everything that he did uh, with Jesus and the parables that Jesus taught, and when, he, and when he healed people who were sick, and when he rose people from the dead. And on the Mount of Transfiguration, Jesus changed before his eyes and he saw Jesus' holiness. And in the end, Peter did have opportunities to share the gospel, like at Pentecost, when he addressed a large crowd of people. It's recorded in Acts chapter 2, and here are the verses. Men of Judea and all you residents of Jerusalem, understand this and listen closely to my words. This is what was spoken by the prophet Joel. This is what the Lord says will happen in the last days. I will pour out my spirit on all flesh. Your sons and your daughters will prophesy. Your young men will see visions. Your old men will dream dreams. Even on my servants, both men and women, I will pour out my spirit in those days. And they will prophesy. I will show wonders in the sky above and signs on the earth below. Blood and fire and a rising cloud of smoke. The sun will be turned to darkness and the moon to blood before the coming of the great and glorious day of the Lord. And this will happen. Everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Great message that Peter has to share. Everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. However, the road to this point wasn't always so smooth for Peter. For example, when Jesus told his disciples that he would die at the hands of sinners. Peter rejected that idea. And Peter pulled Jesus aside and said, Lord, this should never happen to you. Jesus rebuked him sternly and said, Get behind me, Satan. Or how about in the upper room, the night before Jesus' death? Jesus predicts that all of his disciples, including Peter, would scatter and would desert him when he gets arrested. And right on cue, Peter tells Jesus that even if all would fall away on account of you, I would go to prison for you. And when Peter informs, or when Jesus informs Peter that he would deny him three times, Peter responds, even if I have to die with you, I will never disown you. 
Well, Peter definitely had a love for his friend Jesus and a passion for serving God and serving God as a vision for his life. But what's more important than Peter's vision for serving God is God's vision for saving Peter. God knew that Peter would deny Jesus and desert Jesus and sin against his Savior. But God didn't want Peter to be stuck with that sin, in that sinful state. He wanted a new image for Peter, an image of holiness and purity, wrapped in righteousness and saved. And that's the reason that Jesus came to the world anyhow, isn't it? He came to live the perfect life that we couldn't live, take our sins to the cross and, and pay for them there, and rose again as evidence that all of our sins are forgiven and God's vision of salvation for us is complete through faith in him. God has that same vision of salvation for you and for me. And, and during the school year, during chapel and Bible studies and class, as the topics arose, we had an opportunity to encourage one another with the Word of God. We were able to call each other to repentance, hear the sweet words of forgiveness, and the, get the reassurance that salvation is ours through Jesus Christ our Lord. Seniors, I hope you remember the blessings of being a pacer. And we all wish you God's richest blessings as uh, your vision for life is carried out at the next phases in your life. And we want God to bless that. At the same time, our greater prayer is that God's vision of salvation for you is completed and that you remain united in Christ. Amen. What gift of love could I offer to a king? What weight or worth could be held within my offering? When he alone is worthy A glory song is inscribed upon my heart This treasure held in an alabaster jar I break To bring him all the glory Praise God from whom all blessings flow Praise him Sacrifice could be equal to his own. The cross of Christ has declared that there is not I owe. Yet I know I owe him more. Oh, praise God.
pray. Dear God, you have brought our seniors to this goal of formal education, their graduation. As they receive their diplomas, give them grateful hearts for parents and teachers and all who have helped them along the way. Now as they face their future, grant them a deep sense of responsibility and calling to each of the careers you guide them to and through. Assure them again of your guidance and blessing in the days ahead and keep them united in Christ for the good of their salvation, for Jesus' sake. Amen. Good morning. I'm Mr. Strasburg. Good morning, everyone. Hi everybody, I'm Paul Hebner. Good morning ladies and gentlemen, I'm Mr. Hagenorn. Good morning everyone, my name is Keith Wardell. Good morning, my name is Mr. Zondag. Good morning, I'm Mr. Hunter. Good morning, I'm Mr. Hutchinson. Good morning, my name is Mr. Milky. Let me start over again. Okay. I'm trying to say too much here. To say thank you to those who participated today, right? Good morning. My name is Mr. Zonde. Welcome to our devotion, February. We also, um, ah, shoot, I'm gonna start over. Okay. Greetings. Is greetings a good word or hello? Whenever you are ready. Oh, hold on. I lied. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Whatever day, it doesn't matter. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Tuesday's Chapel. Tuesday's Chapel. Hello everyone, welcome to Monday's Chapel. My name is Mr. Grow. Cut. I want to do that part again. <laughs> this is on because the green button's on, correct? Okay. Go. <laughs> Let's pray. Good morning and welcome to the... Did you record that? <laughs> Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for your son Jesus. Maybe, may... <coughs> yeah, that'll be good. Are we? That'll be great. We'll try that again. We pray. <laughs> 